Uh, okay, today I will be showcasing the managing account. And first we have to go to the login page at tq.com slash login and enter your credentials. Confirm you're not a robot and proceed. So at first we're greeted with the report showcase uh, where we can see all the available reports their administration time number of questions the standard price and the current price that's dependent on the premium and we also may preview the look of the report how our your users your candidates will see it as okay you may also contact technical support uh, and receive notification from the system etc also uh, two-factor authentication is also available. Uh, then we may look into the database access. So let's view the folder list first. Uh, and you're able to see uh, the folder database where you can segment your candidates into groups. New group, group one and the email is this so allow candidates to view their reports is self-explanatory within this group your candidates will be able to view their reports upon completion and that if you tick that forward candidates to the email above when the candidates complete their reports from this specific group and the system registers it they will be forwarded as a notification to this email above so let's create that group you can see there is no one here. Let's go to the uh, without group. That's a testing um, testing entry. I created it for the purposes of this uh, presentation. And here we have different options. So first we have the select tool, which is help, which is used to select users within the database and all the entries and manage it. Uh, so for example, yellow pending completion. And then we use the action tool to move them, remind or remove duplicates. So remind is to resend the invitation letter to the user. Uh, move is to move them around from group to group. So for example here, and they will be moved. Uh, the search tool is to help you search so you can use uh, the search tool is to help you search so you can use it to find specific entries. Uh, download reports is used after the candidates have completed their report and you may select a list of candidates and press this button which will then uh, create a catalog, a, a zip file, a zip file uh, with all the reports compiled there. Download raw data is report information, so it breaks down all the facets into a spreadsheet format. Research section is the research section afterwards, uh, both research and reports, and the email. So, for example, if you are doing reporting or need a list of emails from the database, that's the way you pull it out. Um, then we have the candidate addition tool which you have two options, directly or through Excel. Uh, so you upload here the Excel file. Here is the, here's the, the example you provided, and you select the group to which you download, uh, uh, to which you upload the users. Uh, then the direct option, uh, which where you can set the email, the name, the surname, the group, and the report type for each user. Uh, you may set default, uh, report and group, and add more lines, essentially more candidates. Uh, at the end, uh, when you add the candidates, uh, it calculates the total. Right now we cannot because we don't have enough credits. And you can schedule or send it right away. Let me delete uh, the 
entry to showcase that it's possible. Um, candidate addition tool directly. So let's go with um, support, test, and test. Okay, TQ, let's go. Add, send it right away. And it is sent, and we can check the database, and here it is, invitation sent this time. You may also change the email if you want to do it manually. It will resend a different set of credentials and void these ones. Uh, or you may view the credentials directly in order to send the link manually in case it didn't go through for some reason with the bot. Okay, so then we go to the wallet where we have our pricing and uh, Yep, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Take care.